Brother Roop here. <clears throat> we are in uh, chapter 7 of the book of Acts. And we're going to start at 56 and 57. It's about the death of Stephen. He was just uh, explaining himself before the council, the Sanhedrin council. And uh, <clears throat> when he says that, when he sees a vision of Jesus standing at the right hand of God, um, you know, the priests don't like that, and uh, they're going to kill him. And verse 56, And said, Behold, I see the heavens, this is Stephen speaking, opened, and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. Uh, that's not what the priest wanted to hear. Then they cried out with a loud voice, that's the priests, and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord. It's interesting that uh, at the beginning of the book of Acts, we see the saints in prayer in one accord. And here, we see the priests who have rejected Jesus Christ uh, ready to murder people in one accord. Big difference. Which... Uh, which group are you going to be in? That's what you have to ask yourself. Are you going to be in the group of saints that's in one accord? Or are you going to be with the group of wicked people? Killing people, doing evil things in one accord. Which group will you pick? And they cast, out, <clears throat> cast him out of the city. And they stoned him. My God, they stone him to death. You know, for all the faithful believers near death, I believe we're going to see what Stephen saw. He saw Jesus standing at the right hand of God. For all, for all faithful believers, that's what we're going to see. But if you're not a faithful believer, what are you going to see? I think you're going to see something completely different. You're probably going to see something that you're not going to like. Something very frightening. Something that will scare you. But that's not the case for faithful believers. We will see Jesus stand at the right hand of God. So they cast Stephen out and they stoned him. You know, the same crowd was saying crucify Jesus and now it's the same crowd almost saying stone Stephen you know the chant is pretty much the same and uh, this is going to have a, a, a very profound effect upon the world upon Judaism and upon Christianity it's a very key moment we'll see that in the coming chapter God bless you